a better way to hang a bear bag? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick little video uh, with a company by the name of Apex Giant, which is a sister company of Hilltop Packs. And they sent me a bunch of gadgets a little bit ago. Video on that right there. And I'm trying out one of their bear toggles, an easier way to hang bear bags. Let's see. Normally, I wouldn't recommend throwing your food bag over the branch. I would get a rock sack or throw a stick or something like that. You just don't want your food to get caught, but this one was pretty easy. So I have the carabiner attached to the food bag. Now for the Pacific Coast hang, the PCT hang is what it's called, is you got your carabiner, you got the working end of the line, and you simply just thread it in there. So now you just have this thing going on here, right? That's all there is to it. Just the, the line that you pull on just connects it onto the carabiner. That's all. So now you got it and you wanna raise it up, okay? Now for the PCT hang, the idea is to get a toggle like this. You attach it to the line so that way when you let it go, it feeds through the line and it catches, it catches on your carabiner and that's how it stays. So let me show you what that looks like. So you wanna just, Essentially, you want to pull your bear bag as high as you can get it right there and then reach as high as you can in order to attach your stick. My stick is attached and as you let the bag down, that stick catches, the stick is the toggle, catches on the carabiner and now it sits there. That is essentially the PCT hang. But Rob, what knot did you use to connect the toggle? I'm so glad you asked. Let's take a look. Whoa. Jeez. Jeez. What is happening here exactly? All right. So let's just pretend that this is connected way up top. Okay. If you're right handed, which I am, you want to do this. This is a clove hitch. Okay. Take your line. And you simply make a loop. Can you see that? Make a loop. Just like that. Okay? Then you make another one exactly like it. Right? And then the second one, you just put behind the first one. Enter your toggle in both of those loops. Pull it tight. And now you've got your clove hitch. And then when you lower the bag, it catches and that, that toggle won't come out. So what about those people who absolutely hate knots? Enter Apex Giant. They came up with these little titanium dog bones. This is the small dog bone. They actually make one that's quite a bit bigger, but these are made out of titanium, super light, and they require zero knots. Well, let's take a look. Now the dog bone, same concept. Once it follows up the line, it catches on the carabiner and doesn't let it go, right? So the dog bone works very differently. Make a loop in your line. It doesn't matter if it's, a, if it's an overhand loop or an underhand loop, it doesn't matter. The loop goes through the hole. Just like this. And then literally just put it over one of the dog bones, one of the ends of the dog bone. That's it, you're done. Let it go. No knots required. And to let it loose, you simply just pull it back over the dog bone and it comes out and you're good to go. Let's take a closer look at the knots I was talking about. Cause I realized in that demonstration video, it probably wasn't that clear. So let's look at the PCT hang clove hitch and also a close up of the dog bone from Apex Giant. So first things first, the clove hitch for the PCT hang. So you need one toggle. It could be a stick, it could be your toothbrush, it could be your titanium spoon for eating. Anything like this will work just fine. You take your bear line, just like this. You hold it with both hands, using your thumb and your pointer finger on your left hand and your right hand. Now, if you're right-handed like me, you wanna place the right-hand line over the left-hand line, creating a loop just like that. 
all right? Right over left, creating a loop, very simple. Now, you wanna do that one more time, right over left. Now, if you end up twisting the line a little bit, it'll help you with that loop. You can just twist it in your fingers. So right over left, creating the exact same loop, just like that. Now, you have a loop in your right hand, a loop in your left hand, and you want to slide the loop in your right hand just underneath, below the loop in your left hand, creating stacking loops, just like this. Take your toggle, enter it through both loops, grab the tag end, grab your other end, and just simply pull, just like that. And your clove hitch should look exactly like this. You got the X pattern there. And this is extremely secure. This will not slip up and down the line. Very secure for this application. Uh, to undo this, all you do, hold the knot, slide your toggle out, and your knot is gone. That's your PCT hang. Let's look at the dog bone from Apex Giant. So you need one dog bone, whether it's the small or the large, and you need your bear line. Now with your bear line in your right hand, dog bone in your left hand, if you're right-handed like me, you wanna create a loop in the line. It doesn't matter if it's a right over left or left over right, it doesn't matter. Just bend the line over, fold the line over and create a little loop. The loop doesn't matter. You wanna put that loop from the line through the hole in your dog bone, just like that. It doesn't matter if you come from behind or if you come from the front, it doesn't matter. You wanna grab your line loop and pull it through and slide it over one end of the dog bone. It doesn't matter if it's on the left or if it's on the right, choose one and then pull and that cinches down and that's all you need to secure your dog bone onto your bear line. And to undo this, flip it over, grab the single line, pull it to create enough length of your line to clear the end of the dog bone and then simply pull it out of the hole. That's it. There's your apex giant dog bone for your bear hang. Is it better than my toggle? I don't know. Is it cool? Yes. Is it better? No, it's the same. But these are worth it if you hate knots. One more thing I noticed when you're not using it, you just put it on the carabiner for safekeeping. That's all she wrote. There's so much vegetation down here. This catches on everything. It's super annoying. Questions? Get out.